Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Chemical Guys Detail Garage. So recently we posted a Soaps 101 video which you guys really seem to love. And now today we're here to talk about wheel and tire care. So today we're gonna break down all of our dressings, all of our wheel cleaners, so you guys have a better understanding on which one's gonna be the perfect one for your ride. So let's get started. Now, before we get into anything as far as dressings or anything like that, the first thing that you wanna take care of before you apply any kind of dressings is to clean your tires. That's why we have products like Total Extract Tire and Rubber Cleaner, which are gonna do a phenomenal job at removing all kinds of dirt, grime, previous dressings, tire browning, and tire blooming from your tires. That way, whenever you apply any one of these dressings, it's gonna last its longest and it's gonna shine its best. So the key to the successful shine and the durable protection is all in the prep. So that's why we have products like Total Extract, which do an amazing job of just making sure that your tires are fresh, they're clean, and they're ready to go with your favorite Chemical Guys dressing. So moving on from that, we can start off with the dressings themselves. So right here on your left-hand side, we have all of our Chemical Guys dressings from oil-based and water-based, and I'm here to tell you the difference. Now, the biggest difference between an oil-based and a water-based is that water-based dressings can be used on both interior and exterior vinyl, rubber, and plastic surfaces. So you can use them on things like your dashboards, your door panels, your center consoles, to even exterior surfaces like tires, trim, grills, stuff like that. So that's gonna be the major difference between the two products. The oil-based ones, they do a lot better of a job at rejuvenating very severely faded out exterior trim. So if you have a very, very old vehicle, or maybe you have a vehicle that the trim has not been very well taken care of, an oil base is gonna be your best bet in terms of restoration and rejuvenation. That way your plastic looks a lot better for years to come. So if you think about it, a water base is a little bit more better for maintenance. So you can use them on things like your exterior trim. If your trim is in a better condition, you can use a water-based dress and just maintain that brilliant shine. Or speaking of shine, there's actually different levels of shine that we offer. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the water-based dressings. So we'll start off with this fellow right here. This is natural shine. Now natural shine, it's all in the name. It gives you a natural look. Not a wet shine, not a super glossy shine, not an in-between shine, just a very, very original matte finish. So this right here is for those people out there who don't love any kind of interior or exterior shine whatsoever. So if you do not prefer the shine, natural shine is gonna work out great at restoring the surface. So whether it be vinyl, rubber, or plastic on the inside or the outside of your car, you can go ahead and slap some of that on there to just rejuvenate it and just bring back the original factory look. Now, and the great things about these water-based dressings is that they're fully dry to the touch. So even if you go with the higher shine ones, which I'll explain right now, they're fully dry to the touch. So if you apply them and you apply them correctly while wiping off the excess and you go ahead and feel the surface, it should be completely dry to the touch and there should be in no kind of a greasy feel or look whatsoever. So moving forward from natural shine, now we have silk shine. So this is for you guys who wanna just kind of take it a step up. Silk shine is gonna work out great because it gives you that nice little satin kind of finish. And then if you prefer more of a high gloss shine, this is a fan favorite, VRP. That works out great because you can apply it on, like I said, both interior and exterior surfaces, whether it be on your tires or trim, that's gonna work out phenomenal. And uh, just a quick little thing I forgot to mention about Silk Shine is that you may notice that this one comes with the sprayer top, and that is because this is a sprayable formula, which makes it quick and convenient for all you guys out there that are on the go. Maybe you're a professional detailer, you do this as a business, you're trying to save time and effort. You can use something like Silk Shine, spray it on the applicator, which I have some right here. We have our Wonder Wave applicator. We have this easy form, Wonder Wave applicator, and then we also have our HexLogic applicator, whichever one of those are gonna work out great. So you can use it to quickly and effectively dress surfaces, whether they be on the inside or the outside of your vehicle, with the easy to use sprayable formula. And then moving on from VRP, now we also have our G6 Hypercoat. So like I mentioned, this just all goes on shine preference. And I know a lot of you guys always have that question, why is there so many dressings? Well, everyone is different. Me personally, I like more of a satin kind of finish, so I normally go with silk shine. But if you're that kind of person who, you know, you really love that wet shine, then you can go with something like our G6 Hypercoat if you wanna go in the water-based category. And then now moving on from there, we're gonna go on to a little bit more of a different product, which is gonna be your Hydro Shield. Now, Hydro Shield is a water ceramic based dressing. So you can apply it on both interior and exterior surfaces, tires and trim, all that good stuff. But this product actually has nano ceramic SO2 nanotechnology that provides a durable ceramic layer of protection. However, as far as shine, it gives you more of a new look kind of finish. So it's not designed to give you a super wet, greasy look or anything like that. It's just designed to give you a nice, fresh, 
brand new car look, just basically the way your trim should be looking like with just a little added shine. Moving on from Hydro Shield, now we're gonna move on to some of the oil-based dressings. So some of them, you'll notice that they are actually more kind of clear and transparent and you can actually see through them as opposed to the water-based dressings which are more of a milky kind of color. Now, Blue Guard is great for those extremely faded and neglected exterior trims. So like I said, if you are on the go, you want something that's sprayable, something that's quick, and something that's gonna provide a really, really deep level of restoration and rejuvenation for extremely dried out plastic or rubber trim, Blue Guard is gonna be your best bet. Spray it on applicator, work it in, and then if the surface is actually very, very dried out, you can apply one coat, and then pro tip, give it about five minutes after your first initial coat, come back in five minutes, and give it another coat to lock in that nice little layer of shine. Moving on, we have slightly more of a different kind of product. We have our tire and trim gel. Now this product is a gel-based cleaner. So as you can imagine, it's thick with two C's. So this product is gonna work out incredible for severely, severely, severely dried out rubber and plastic trim. Now, a lot of you guys uh, that have trucks, I know that the cladding around the truck, they get extremely dried out and they get super you know, white to the point where they're white. So this is gonna work out incredible for just giving it that really deep level restoration. Now, the thing with this tire and trim gel is that it's a slightly thicker of a product. So with this product, it's not to say that you can't apply it every single time you wanna apply a dressing, but it's better for whenever you actually have a super neglected trim. So whenever you have a super neglected trim and you wanna take the time to restore it, the tire and trim gel is gonna be your best bet. And then if you wanna do something that's a little bit quicker, more on the fly, more sprayable, then I would say go with something like our Galactic Black Ultra Wet Dressing. Now, if you love oil-based dressings and you're looking specifically for the exterior vehicle and you're specifically looking for an ultra wet shine, Galactic Black is gonna be the product that you're looking for. And the next product that we're gonna be talking about is actually Klingon. Got you guys. You guys thought we were gonna go over the wheel cleaners. We'll get to those in a second. Now, Klingon right here, this, this little yellow fella, Klingon is a three-in-one product. It cleans, it shines, and it protects. What does that mean? So the product, and sorry, the science behind this product is that you can go ahead and spray it onto your tires, whether they're dirty or clean. And the beauty about it is that it actually cleans and it dissolves dirt and grime from the surface. So what you do with it is you spray it directly onto your tire, give it a nice fine coat, and then you wanna let that sit for about five minutes. And in those five minutes, what it's doing is it's dissolving dirt and grime, it's drooping it down, it's rejuvenating the rubber, it's coating it, and it's also protecting all at the same time. So that's the beauty about it is that it goes on as a foam and then it kind of just works its way into the pores of the rubber, thus giving you a nice, brilliant high gloss shine finish. All right guys, next on the line we have our factory trim coating. Now factory trim coating is an aerosol based product that provides a more kind of natural kind of finish to hard to reach areas like front grills, uh, especially if you have like honeycomb uh, grills or anything like that, hard to reach places, that's gonna work out great. And the reason why I like it personally is because it leaves a fully matte finish. Basically it's all in the name, factory trim coating. So it basically makes it look just from the factory, brand new, no added shine whatsoever, it just gives it that nice fresh OEM look. And it's also extremely easy to apply because it has an aerosol formula, so you can just spray into hard to reach places without you trying to get your fingers all jammed up in there. And then the final product that we have right here is our nice and wet tire shine trim coating. Now that product is similar to Klingon in the sense that it does foam up. However, the thing with Klingon is that it foams up and it dissolves. Whereas this one right here, it's a little bit more fast acting. So you can go ahead and spray it on there. It dissolves very quickly. But with that one, you might actually wanna go ahead and grab an applicator and just work it in very thoroughly to ensure that you don't have any kind of excess sitting on the surface. And another thing is that this one actually does not clean the surface. So you may wanna go ahead and clean it up first with total extract before doing so, as opposed to just spraying it with some Klingon tire foam. All right guys, and now to get into the wheel cleaner. So I'm gonna move my total extract here. Now we actually have five wheel cleaners now, believe it or not. So we actually just released our brand new Insight foaming, color changing wheel cleaner just this past Wednesday. So this right here is a perfect product to just go ahead and start it off with because this product, it's on the name. It's a foaming cleaner, you spray it on, it turns blue, sorry, it is blue, and then it begins to turn white as it starts reacting to all the kinds of dirt and grime that's sitting on the surface of your tire. So basically the science behind this product is that we wanted to make a product that's extremely easy to use and also fun to use for the matter. So you can go ahead and quickly and easily spray your entire wheel and those hard to reach intricate areas with a fast acting foam cleaner that's gonna start dissolving dirt and grime quickly, easily, 
And with this product, once you spray it on there, it begins to turn white, and then you have two options. You can either A, start scrubbing it with your favorite uh, chemicalized wheel cleaning brushes, or in most cases, if your wheels are not too bad, you can actually just go ahead and rinse it off, whether it be with your pressure washer hose or even just a traditional garden hose. You know, it's all entirely up to how dirty the wheel surface is and how much of a deep clean you want to get. And this product is great because it's safe to use on virtually all smooth, glossy wheel finishes from paint, powder coated, chrome, and so much more. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and pull this one back, and then we're going to pull up these two right here. Now, common question that a lot of you guys ask, what's the difference? I'm going to tell you why. So Diablo Wheel Cleaner Gel is a pH balanced wheel cleaner gel. Now, Diablo is great for maintenance wheel cleaning. So let's say you did a deep wheel cleaning today, and then you know next week you want to go ahead and clean your wheels again, but they're not that dirty, and you just want to give them a nice gentle clean. Diablo Wheel Cleaner Gel is going to work out great for you because you can actually use it a couple different ways. So this right here is actually the gel version of it. If you guys seen it with the spray nozzle on it, then that's our Diablo sprayer cleaner. That one's actually ready to use. Whereas this is a concentrated gel, which you can use to dilute it into a three to one ratio in a separate spray bottle. So that way you can use it specifically how you want it. So you can either have it in that sprayable version or pro tip that we always show you guys here on this channel is whenever you're cleaning your wheels and you have your wheel cleaning bucket, simply open up the spout, squirt about an ounce into your wheel cleaning solution, activate the suds for added lubrication. That way you're not kind of scratching up the wheel finishes as you're uh, cleaning the wheels. So Diablo Wheel Gel is an extremely great product because it emulsifies dirt and grime, encapsulates it, and it glides it off the surface of a vehicle. But now we also have Sticky Citrus Wheel Cleaner Gel. Sorry, I made that seem like it was a brand new product. It's not. Sticky Citrus Wheel Cleaner Gel, believe it or not, has actually been part of our Chemical Guys product lineup for a lot of years. Now, me personally, I started off with using this product just because uh, my wheels are performance wheels. Sorry, not performance wheels. I have performance brakes, which produce performance brake dust, which get on my wheels, and then it makes it look really bad. And Anyway, <laughs> Sticky Citrus Wheel Cleaner Gel, and then... In a nutshell, is basically for you guys out there who have performance brakes, but you also have sensitive wheels. Now, what I mean by that is Sticky Citrus Wheel Cleaner Gel. It's citrus-based, so it's going to help break down heavier dirt, grime, and brake dust, while also giving you that gel formulation. Now, you guys may be asking, why do I want that gel formulation? What is it doing for me? That gel formula is actually going to foam up. It's going to emulsify that dirt and grime and brake dust from the surface of your wheel, and it's going to help glide it off the surface of your wheels. Now, why is that important? It is important because whenever it comes to cleaning your wheels, things like dirt, grime, and brake dust, they're extremely, extremely abrasive to your wheels. So especially if you have like uh, painted wheels, I have glossy black wheels, painted wheels, and you can definitely tell that whenever you use just a traditional degreaser and not enough lubrication and you start scrubbing it, you're going to start seeing all those scratches and swirls, as opposed to if you were to go with a gel-based cleaner, that's going to save you in the long run. That way you're not damaging your wheel finishes as you're cleaning them. And then moving on from there, we also have two other cleaners. For those of you guys out there who prefer more of a degreaser type kind of cleaner and you guys want something that's quick, it's sprayable, you spray it on, allow it to break down dirt and grime, but maybe you still want to agitate it, then you can go with our Signature Shears Wheel Cleaner, which is great. It's a concentrated formula, which actually can be diluted to a four to one ratio or as is for full uh, strength. That's going to work out great on virtually all smooth, glossy wheel finishes as well. But like I mentioned, this is more of a degreaser type kind of cleaner. It's not a gel like Sticky Citrus Wheel Cleaner. So, you know, you kind of just pick and choose what you want to go for. If you prefer a more deep clean, go with the Skin Shears Wheel Cleaner. If you want to also kind of have a deep clean, but not also risk the, you know, having that gel aspect of a cleaner, then you can go ahead and go with their Sticky Citrus Wheel Cleaner Gel. And then last but not least over here, we have this little special fella. This right here is our Decon Pro Iron Remover. For those of you guys who know already, yes, this is the, I guess, color changing wheel cleaner. So this product right here, what it does is it breaks down embedded iron particles sitting on smooth, glossy surfaces like your wheels. You know, your wheels are basically known for getting the most iron contaminants on there from your brake pads. And over time, what happens is if you don't clean your wheels often, those iron contaminants, they stick onto the wheel surface, they start embedding themselves, and then it kind of starts etching it kind of like a acne in a sense. So it kind of like starts kind of penetrating the, the finish of the material and which can lead to rust and it'll make it look very, very terrible in just a couple years. So using a product like Decon Remover Pro is gonna be key to making your wheels last the longest and look good in the long run. So with the product like Decon, 
It's an acid-based cleaner, so you do want to keep that in mind. So if you are working with more sensitive finishes, like matte wheels or anything like that, you want to make sure that you, know, you don't use it on there. Or if you have it on more sensitive painted wheels, then you want to make sure that you're not doing it in direct sunlight or on a hot surface, which is another great point that I completely forgot to mention. Whenever using any wheel cleaners or any kind of tire products, make sure that your wheels and tires are fully cool to the touch. That way there's not any kind of chemical reactions with the product and the heat that's on there. So a lot of you guys ask, is Decon Pro the strongest uh, wheel cleaner that you guys carry? And to answer your question, yes and no, in the sense that it is a strong product because it is acid-based. However, you don't always want to use an acid-based product to clean your wheels. You want to pick and choose your battles. So whenever you feel like your wheels are starting to get a heavy accumulation of brake dust and maybe just has a lot of like lingering uh, iron contaminants, then you can use a product like Decon Pro once every couple months. You don't have to use it every single wheel cleaning uh, routine. You can go ahead and use something like Diablo Wheel Gel for your maintenance wheel cleanings. And then if it does kind of get away from you and you know it's been a couple weeks that you've cleaned your wheels or maybe washed your vehicle, you can go with a little bit something more aggressive like either a Sticky Scissors Wheel Cleaner Gel or Signature's Wheel Cleaner. And then last but not least, uh, one other thing about Decon is that yes, it does react to those ferrous metals sitting on the surface. So when you spray it on, it sprays clear, but then you'll start noticing that if there are any kind of ferrous contaminants embedded within the wheel surface, it'll actually start reacting to it and turning purple. Now, a lot of you guys ask, if it doesn't turn purple, does that mean that the product didn't work? Absolutely not. Now, Decon Iron Remover Pro is designed to react to iron uh, contaminants that are sitting on the surface of your wheels. So if you don't have any kind of reaction and the product does not turn purple, don't think of it as a bad thing. Think of it as a good thing that there actually is no embedded iron contamination that's sitting on the wheels and you're also deep cleaning your wheels at the exact same time. All right, guys, and that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for our wheel and tire care one-on-one -on -one video right here. So you guys saw me break down all the water-based dressings, oil-based dressings, aerosol products, and even all of our chemical guys wheel cleaner. And if you guys have any further questions on any one of these products that you guys see right here in front of me, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below. And if you guys have any other suggestions on product videos, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below because we are super interested in hearing you guys' feedback. As always, if you guys want to pick up any of the products that you guys see right here in front of me, you can pick them up on our website, chemicalguys.com, or you can swing by your local detail garage store. As always, like, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And as always, my name is Joey. This is Chemical Guys. We'll see you guys next time.